PCSK9, the the, right. the the heart disease drug. It's obviously one of the great targets in the history of the industry. Right. We hope they're going to be some of the great drugs in the history of the industry. You've got a lot of competition there, not just directly with Amgen right now, but also Pfizer's got one. We don't know what Roche is doing with theirs, but they got one. Alnylam's doing, right. you know, I mean, how, how do you think about this market? Well, it's interesting. You know, you, you should get credit because you were one of the early people who were, you were an early adopter of the opportunity for PCSK9 uh, in your writing, so we appreciate that. Um, we think the market is potentially very important and very large. Remember, the market size for statins, which is a, were a great advance in medicine, was probably north of $20 billion on a global basis. Now that's being genericized, which is fine, and that's what spurs the next thing to come along that can do even better on top of a statin, uh, and we hope that we can bring that successfully to market. But um, a cholesterol-lowering drug that can lower cholesterol by between 40 and 60 percent, depending upon which population you're studying, um, on, or even higher, on top of a statin or without a statin, um, if we show through long-term studies that it's safe and it really does continue to work like we hope, I think it's going to be a, a great opportunity. But there is competition, as you mentioned, but, you know, there were four or five statins on the market. It's a big market and competition is good. Uh, we like it. We're competitive folks. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're, we're going to get out there and patients benefit when people compete. 